Okay, we play a little game of if you only knew. Yes. I just throw some questions at you. Okay, I'm it's nervous. It's not a courtroom. You don't have to answer. Okay. Person you'd like to switch places with for a day. Ooh, Michelle Obama on January 21st. Like, where are you going? Yeah, I'm like, where are we going? Where are we going, Barack? Yes. Best piece of advice you ever received? Be kind. You know, life is tough, but just be decent. Yeah. Worst piece of advice you ever got? Um, have a plan B. Place we would find you on a day off? In bed with my remote control watching uh, Netflix binging on a television show. You're not married? No, I'm not married. Where is he? No, I'm not married. You haven't met Mr. Wright? I have well, not met him yet. I don't know where he is. You ever come close? Never even came close. I don't, you know what it is? I think, I don't know what it is. Anybody know what it is? Did you, were you ever in love? I have been in love. What happened? It, we were too young. I think we were too young. You ever find out what happened to him? Yeah, he's married with kids. He's happy. Oh. Life is good for him. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm happy for him. Musician we'd be surprised to hear you listen to. Ooh, be surprised? I like country music. That's all right. Yeah, I don't know that people would be surprised by that because you country... like Willie Nelson? Yes, I like Willie Nelson. I love um, Crystal Gale from back in the day. Um, I loved Eddie Rabbit when I was a kid. So <laughs> I like, like, and Dolly Parton. <sighs> I met Dolly Parton recently. Pile of goo. Pile of goo. <laughs> um, I was, not her. I was a pile of goo. Um, yeah, so I love 70s country music. And today, too, but 70s was my thing. Funniest fan encounter? I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead, and people know that I love that show. And I was at Comic-Con, and a woman was dressed as a zombie, and she started coming at me like this with the blood. And I said, listen, I appreciate your work, but you got to stop that. <laughs> so she stopped and said, oh, my God, I'm a big fan. I'm like that. We can have this moment, but we're not going to have this moment. So, yeah, that was, that was the one. Person from history you'd like to take to lunch? Ooh, I had to go Martin Luther King Jr. I kind of feel like he, he would have some him. answers. Did, what was he like? He was a great. Great man. Guy. Yeah, great interview. It resounded through the... I bet. A favorite curse word. Can I say it? Yeah. Fuck. It's the best word, Chris. It's the best word, because it, it's a noun, it's, it's a good verb. And it's bad. And... Yeah, and, it's, and you know what? You can't say it everywhere. Yeah, I really like that one. You'd appreciate what Lenny Bruce once said. What did he say? F is colloquial for intercourse. <laughs> yes. Right? Okay. So if someone says to me, F you, I say, thank you. <laughs> when I get mad at someone, I say, un you. Oh. Un you forever. <laughs> That's, that is new. Think about that. That's good. Biggest risk you ever took. Moving from Cleveland to, uh, to L.A. with two rolling duffel bags and a place to stay for three days. Something you wish you were better at. Organizing. My house. I'm good at organizing my life, but my house is in shambles. Favorite thing about Hollywood? That you get to meet like-minded people. Like, I feel like I found my tribe. And I, I'm very active on Twitter, and I like meeting people, and so I get to talk to a lot of people. Something people get wrong about Hollywood? That it's easy, and that, you know, there's, like, gold at the end of every rainbow. A lot of people that are on television don't have a lot of money. They don't, they don't have everything. Like, you have to work really hard to make a living as an actor. Those of us that... You know, for everyone that gets on a show, there's thousands that are, you know, just getting by. If not acting, then what? Kindergarten teacher. Kindergarten. Oh, five and six-year-olds are delicious. That's right before life is kicked their teeth in. Like, they're wide open to they everything. They say the kindergarten and first grade are the most important teachers in your life. They will <sighs> set your code for education. Oh, I would have loved it. That, that, that's my tribe. You talk about tribe, five and six-year-olds. Mm -hmm. I used to be a, a day camp counselor in Ohio before I moved to L.A., and I was, I was had the five and six-year-olds, and they were just delightful. Yvette Nicole Brown in 10 years. Hopefully doing a lot of philanthropy. I have a, a couple of charities, uh, MPTF I love and DonorsChoose.org I love. And I would love to have achieved enough where I can be giving back in a, in a greater way, personally. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.